Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the best kitties ever. Are you the best kitties? We will see. <laughs> Tonight we're going to be playing some uh, Atari 7800 games. Three new games. Well, two new games Hi. and one updated Hi. game. We're going to be playing uh, Turret Turmoil <laughs> Dreadnought Assault by Paul Lay, Playsoft. Uh, Destroyer 7800 by SDW, and an update <gasps> to Bernie in the Bernie! Tower of Doom. Awesome! Last time we played it, it crashed. Yes. So this time I hope it will not. Okay. Buddy Funster has assured everyone it will not crash. Okay. So we're going to give it a try. Bernie is going to come out from his uh, little his hiding hole there. Where he tries to hide from Atari and often tries. fails. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And he's going to be our good luck mascot to yes. try and get us through the towers. Right, Bernie. Uh, but first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Yes. Aput Poet, Al Nefer, Andre Tara, Atari1974, Atari H, Bilp Squeak, Beer Poka, Bruno Stacks, Captain Class, Charles Donimal, Charles Will, Chilla, La Sierra Naribu, Dianoi, Dan VC, Daryl1970, Drexel, Doug Mook, Hells, Gamma Dev, Gizberto, Rondinella, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ground Trooper, Aralda Herjou, JGKS, PSX, Torturing the Cat, Johnny WC23, Kabuto Coder, Carl G, Karakat, Croco 2600, Developer, Lambda Express, Mandy Sipping, T Mark, Yannis, Mark's Basic, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Town, Ms. Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom. Oh, it's party time for kittens. Neo Media, Nostalgic, Pseudographics, Coog 2600, R. Antwitz, Rendered Ghost, Prendless, VG, Retro Gamer, Revan Tooley, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice Rare, Spinley S, Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Dan, K, Teeth Foes, Team Events, Trekham, Defects, Rex, VG Double Dan, X, Ken X. And if you want to support the cats, you can too. Get your name on the list uh by hitting subscribe it's in there somewhere and if not um you could just follow us on twitch or you can subscribe on youtube so that you know when the shows are out mm -hmm. right kitty or watch us live if you're watching on youtube we do broadcast this live by the way so if you follow us on twitch it'll alert you when we're live now kitties got a little treat from Gamma Dev. Yes, thank you, Gamma Dev. Thank Are you, you guys Gamma ready Dev. for <gasps> ready? some catnip? Let's see. Oh. Man. Okay. Oh. Well, we got okay. Some little for little you. Bit. Come here, Ow. come here. Did you get zapped? Yep. Of course. There we go. Let's indulge. Let's indulge in the catnip. Kitty uppers already. <laughs> oh yeah. They're already getting, getting the cat getting... high. Will there be a ZPH herb receptacle in the merch store <laughs> just for kitties? Herb, herb receptacle, yeah. Yeah, we we'll go. get a, a little um, I usually grinder use... for the catnip. Oh, God. <laughs> catnip only. <laughs> catnip <laughs> only. Um, I usually use my zero page coasters. Yes. They're pretty so good. They're pretty good. Technically, there are herb receptacles. Oh, oh now he's, now he's oh, rubbing it. He's there we go. Flipping around. Yeah. It's taking effect. Yeah, he loves rubbing it all over his body. Oh, he's he eats it for a little later. and then rubs it all over. Saving it for later. Yeah. <laughs> um. So let's get right into the game. All right. You have no no, uh, no news. Nothing, nothing like to that. Say. Oh, nothing kitties. To say. Okay, kitties. You okay there? We're gonna start oh, playing. Oh, oh, the rolling has started. Yeah. Oh, early poly. cat rolling. Both of them are roly poly, <laughs> frantically cleaning themselves yes. as well. well Rubbing Atari. it on them, then then cleaning it off them. Give Atari the advantage. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my there goodness. Goes, there goes Sprite. Kitties. <laughs> <laughs> funny cats. They okay. Are funny cats. Let's uh, get into <laughs> the game. <clears throat> oh, we're in the Bernie directory. Let's switch out of those go up. Oh, come on. What's happening? Uh oh, what is happening? Should be fine. There we go. That was weird. Hmm. Turret turmoil. Dreadnought assault. Okay. Uh, this is by um, Paul Lay, Playsoft, and Harvey Kong Tin, Kiwi Love. And um, Paul Lay said, Kiwi Love and I have been working on this quite some time ago, worked on this quite some time ago, but it was sidelined for various reasons. We picked it up again and hope to make something playable from it. Your task is to destroy all the turrets on the Dreadnought. It's a space okay. game. Yes. Collect a hostage and return to the launch bay. 
Mm. This is complicated by a host of different enemies attacking you. Mm. Use the joystick to move your ship. Left trigger to fire, right trigger to flip direction. Okay. If you destroy a dragon, it will be followed by a pickup that you can collect. Okay. So watch for the dragons. Uh, S for shield boost, P for protector, W for wep weapon upgrade. All great. Collect them all. The game finishes when your shield is fully depleted. There will be seven dreadnoughts in total, but I've only sequenced the first two so far. Okay. So there is a difficulty here. I saw uh, easy. Easy and normal. normal. Easy. You can go for easy normal. and then I can play normal. I wouldn't mind easy. I haven't even seen it, so. It looks like it's got high scores, different high scores for the easy and normal. Oh boy. Space blobs! Shoot them! Oh, you ran right into it. Ah. Oh, you ran into it again! Do not shoot those. Shoot the blobs. What blobs? The green space blobs. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. You're running into the bullets. Oh, yeah. Do not shoot those bullets. Where am I going? Oh, I see. The direction you launched it. Into the dragon. I think we'll just be completely fighting uh, space things forever. Yeah. I just, they came from behind, so I was like, oh, this, no, 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 no. Is, this is interesting. Oh, a bit loud. Sorry. There's the dragon. I'll give you a power up. And the thing that has a rotating turret there are the things you need to take out by shooting them a lot. Oh, and there goes the power up. That was the power up? That was a P. Oh, I didn't see the... That was a protector. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Which I'm guessing is something that will Shield, circle maybe? around you. There we go, I finally got and something. And help shoot. <laughs> Hooray! I'm trying to figure out what is good and what is bad here. It's a little... Uh, Everything's bad except uh, the circle. Well, letters. some things, obviously, the stuff in the background oh. is not. So it's, it's. I'm just, if I accidentally bullets run into things. something, it's. I think it's just bullets and moving things. Yeah. So you've looped around to your um, docking station. I'll figure it out. So just remember that you can turn around if you make it to the end. So you got to shoot that turret. Which one? The turret. That one that's turning. There's another the, the ones brown. The yep. Okay, got that one. Okay. The shields and are not about the green half. Things? No, they don't do anything. Okay. So See, about, that's that's what I mean. About halfway down uh, your shields now. Oh gosh. Hit again. There's only one. Little, oh, there's another one. And one right at the beginning. Oh, oh. One right into it. Yeah. Have to go through again. Uh, you can turn around too. That's true. Um. Ugh. Oh. Gamma Dev says, Get you're... it. Oh, you're dead? No, no, yeah. You've been recruited by the Star League to defend uh, the frontier against Xur and the Kodan Armada. Uh, Nostalgia says, Nice multi layered scrolling. Very yes. nice. The backgrounds. Yep, yeah, the background is, is nice and faded so it doesn't like interfere like the floating rocks in space. Yeah, I would only shoot those from a distance because once they uh, get a track on you be too close to them when they shoot the bullets. Crunchy the Clown says, this is awesome. Yes, awesome space shooter. Um, oh, I couldn't believe this is on the 7800. It looks like a lot like a lot of 8-bit games, um, especially a Atari 8-bit. Um, there are a number of games like this in the Atari 8-bit. I cannot name them, but I know I've seen them. Getting hit by its bullets. I know, I know. Ah! You've got two out of six turrets. There you go. Now there's going to be a pickup. Where? It says there is. There it is. Get the protector. There we go. Stay back. Get hit. Oh, I lost that fast. Uh, a lot of moving objects. Do you know if this is in 7800 basic or pure assembly? Uh, with 7800, I always assume that it's in B BASIC. There are very few programmers that program in assembly for the 7800. But um, it is possible. It doesn't. It didn't say. Um, somebody did mention Portal Demo in the forums, but I didn't, didn't find anything about a Portal Demo because that's a very generic term. <laughs> How do I collect the hostage? Looks like that game that says alert, alert. Alarm, alarm. <laughs> That's Bosconian. 
Um, it, it has similarities that there are... Oh, he's getting into the well, cabinet yeah. that's open. Yeah. That's not good. I'm playing right now, so you're going to... How do I collect the hostage? Uh, you have to shoot all the turrets. I uh, thought I did. You did. Now you have to find the hostage. Oh. He might be floating. He might be on the ship. He might be at the end of the ship. There he is. Yay! Oh my god. Oh lord. So just keep going to the right. The demo was called Portal, ITC says, and it featured both Pokey and Kovac sound. Um, if you have a link to that... Um, is it also made by Paul Lay? That would make it much easier to find for me. Oh boy. Yeah, turn around. <laughs> oh no! You're almost dead! Trying to get back to the launch bay. No! You just keep it coming. Ah! Where's the launch bay? There it is. Don't die. Ah! One health left. Yay! <sighs> just in time. Level two. Oh, no. Those are fine. There you go. Green rocks in space. Green asteroids. They've been infected. Oh, and and dead. dead. I figured that was going to come soon. So well, you don't gain all your shields back. Very, very cool. Levels. There was a da 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 da, but I don't know what that was for. So we're going to go to normal. Yes. Oh. Um, it does have auto fire, which makes yeah, it a lot easier. Yeah, which I was smacking it for a while and didn't realize, but that's okay. It just builds up my forearms. That's right. <laughs> smack, 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 smack. all strong. That's right. For future gaming. Rice or cat? Can I come up? Are you feeling happy? Yeah. Happy cat. Are you happy? Are you full of catnip? More, please. More catnip. He's like, I would like some treats. Yes. Ah! Got hit. Oh, dragon. Yes, I would like your... Would like your wares, dragon, please. Yeah. Gamma Dev says, interestingly, this more resembles the Intellivision version of the Dreadnought Factor than the Atari 8-bit version. <laughs> um, I did look that up uh, briefly before the show, and it didn't seem to have any enemies. It mostly just had the ship. Like, didn't have any mm, like, space like enemies. Like things to dodge. Yeah. Like uh, the stuff it doesn't... The doesn't look like the other versions come close to the visuals of this one. Oh, God, no. Oh, yeah. no. This is much more visually impressive. Oh, my God. Oh, Frenchie oh. says this version looks so much better than the demo. It, it looks fantastic. What a great shooter. It really does. This is uh, one of James's uh, favorite genres. So. Shooters! Yeah. Oh, my God. Harder is... Our normal is much harder. There's a lot more on the screen. A lot more bullets. A lot more on the screen. Hi. You're being very cute. Yes, you are. They're very happy to see me when I get home from work. <laughs> are they? Yeah, they are. They're very cute. They are. You miss me, I think. Do you miss me? Six out of six. Collect the hostage. So it's got a little um, information yeah, line look, at the bottom. Yeah, it does look a bit like Bosconian. Yeah, it it has the ship, which mm -hmm. is very similar, mm -hmm. and it has the asteroids. And Where was like... the guy? Did I totally miss him? Uh, just relentless They'll enemies. come for you, which is crazy, uh, uh, from behind, uh, uh. which really does, I think, is an interesting dynamic, because you have to flip around. You definitely do, quite a bit. Where's the, where's the dude? You'll see him. He'll be there. He wasn't in the same spot as yours. Well, maybe he, there he is. Oh, okay. Maybe it was. There you we'll go. Just continue this direction. Sure. We're going Ooh. the right way. If you leave one enemy left, mm -hmm. does it not spawn the next round of enemies? No. Nope. It, it, it eventually goes off the screen. Oh. Because I have not killed everything. One came back. Okay. See? Oh, it regenerated. Yeah. It definitely goes off the screen. Yeah! There we go. Way Automatically kills everything on the screen. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Okay. 
Level two. Nostalgic says, James, is there a particular flavor of shooter you prefer? Vertical, horizontal, lots or few power-ups, bullet hell? Um, not like super bullet hell. I don't mind a little bit, like there's a bunch of bullets on the screen, but not like it's turned into a maze game. Yeah. Oh my God. Where you have to like, that's all there is, is dodging bullets. Like there's enough, there's enough on the screen in this game that it satisfies me. Oh my God. Um, vertical, horizontal, doesn't matter. Both are good. Ooh, yeah, uh, okay. Power up uh, uh, would be very nice at this moment. Um, what was the other qualifier question? Um, just oh, vertical, power horizontal, lots of few power ups, bullet hell, yeah. Um, a medium amount of power ups. Oh, I have no shield. Damn it. There it is. Shield, 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 shield. <gasps> oh my god. Got that's a big perfect. chunk of shield. That's excellent. Um, power-ups, I, I, oh, I do like power-ups. Oh, the Amiga ball, ball. Oh my goodness. And it is, uh, resilient. Oh my god, it turned into a bunch of tiny Amiga balls. <laughs> nice. How do you get past that? Oh, I guess, oh, oh, does it come on and off? Damn it, it does. Ooh, this is much trickier. Go! A lot more of a maze element to this one. There's eight turrets in this one. Eight? Yeah. Oh, got five. Oh. Oh, God, it's too much. Too much, too much stuff. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, turn around. Oh. Uh. Okay, got it. Oh, boy. <laughs> one piece of shield left. Oh, I have two more turrets to kill. There they are. Okay. Oh, Damn it! Oh man! No shields left. What is that cat doing? I hear chewing and destroying. What are you doing back there? He's not chewing. He's just being. I don't believe it. Just... Being a cat is chewing. <laughs> He's just being a cat. He's just nosing around back there. Uh huh. Okay, now I have to find. Oh, there he is. Where? Where? Right there. Right, right there. there doesn't help. Right there! You just passed him! Oh, he was right there. Right there! In the circle. Somewhere. At the bottom. On the screen. He was right <laughs> there in the circle. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Carl, do you like a space game amount? A space game amount. I'm guessing he's referring to power-ups. Yeah, a space mm. game amount of power-ups, is a, it's a nice amount. Um, I, I do appreciate this space game having bad power-ups. Um, that was quite a twist. Oh, where they, they slow you down or you lose. Or you, you get all jittery or... Yeah. Or I you, think that is pretty funny, actually. I do, it is. I do you, like that. You're like, ah, no, avoid it. No! You have to actively <laughs> dodge some power, yeah. power downs. No power ups. Yeah, that was a nice twist. Yeah, Space Game's awesome shooter. Mm. I really watch my shields. Oh, my God. Stop it! Dragon, give me shields or something. <gasps> Why am I doing so terrible? Need to get out in the clear. Get away from this. So I can shoot the dragon. Give go. me something. Something good. Shields would be nice. I'll take anything. Yay. I'm guessing that clears. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder how many hits it can take. It's clearing a bunch of um, bullets for me. I think if you get hit, it disappears. Well, oh. Yeah. Did I get you lost hit? it, yes. Damn it. I think that's what happens. Love the Mario sound effect, lol, says Crunchy the, cr Crunchy the Clown. Is there one? Yeah. EVG double them. He was right there, right in front of your <laughs> ship. He was actually right in front of your ship. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh. There's a lot on the screen. There is a lot to see. There's a lot going on. And the enemies are relentless. Like, they just keep coming. So mm -hmm. it's almost like... Oh, that's right there. Very nice. Perfect. So it's almost like, do I shoot the enemies or just keep shooting the towers? Because the enemies mm -hmm. will never stop. Oh, come on. See, there's only two left. Stop. Maybe it's two left. 
Maybe. I'll leave two. Oh. Oh, damn it! Yeah, I'll keep attacking you. You're almost there. No, I'm, I'm experimenting with how many I leave on gotcha. the screen. Nope. No, I told you they respawn. You didn't believe me. Sometimes I don't. Uh, they always do. Nice. Good job. My shields! They're at one third. <laughs> no! That is not good going into this much, much harder level. I'll just get hit again. Oh, you can't kill a turret on one pass. And very, very creative um, enemy formations as well. Like that last one was a spinning circle. He says, yeah, I haven't decided if it's too busy or if I want to just embrace the chaos because it is all so gorgeous. Yes. Oh, embrace the embrace chaos. Embrace the chaos. It I think beautiful. it's fantastic. I love a game like this. Oh. Oh, it, at least it doesn't completely Oh, get it. You. Good job. Oh, that's Oh, what I wide. Need. Oh, nice. Oh, it's not a more powerful. It's just wider. It's wider. I don't know if I want to kill that. It turns into... Oh, it didn't this time. Last time it turned into um, a big one. A massive ball of. or tons of them. That's what it turned into. Oh boy. This is so crazy! Ah! More! Your turrets fire so much more. Oh, I just got hit some more. Oh, I lost my weapon. Yeah. So it does stay until you get hit, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think it does. For all things. God. Them one at a time. Come on, die! <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Ivory Tower says, check your PM in Facebook. I've sent you the portal demo there. Oh, thank you. Nice. It'll be good to reference that in this, this yes. game's listing. I'm going to loop around. No! Oh my god! My last hit point! One more. Need one more turret still. Yeah, I, it must have been at the beginning. Maybe. Move around. Ah! Cat! Not right now, cat. Uh, Don't need it. Don't no need hit that points. Cat. What are you doing over there? No hit points. I need a dragon. Kittens! Stop, stop the it, please. cat destruction. Stop it, please. Possible to stop the cat destruction. No, it's it's an ongoing thing. It is. There it is. Oh. Hooray! Now I just need to find the guy. It's not on the other side of the barrier. Yeah, that'll be annoying. Barrier's not too bad. You just have to wait. There he is. There he is. Good. I don't know about this no refilling shields between levels thing. Like, if I go to level three, which is not done yet, I'll have zero shields going to... You need... You, you have to shoot the dragon, really. You have to chase after the yeah, dragon. Yeah, you have to get the dragon right and away. And that doesn't even give you shields every time. I think it's it would be nice to get a little bit of shield between levels, but... Oh my god, yes. Okay. This is the worst part sometimes, getting in there without... There you go. Woo! <sighs> so what happens after this? Just says demo over or repeats? So this is supposedly level three, but it looks like level one from It does the, look like level yeah, one. Yeah, we'll just confirm. You got to yeah. chase the dragon. It's level one. It is level one. Uh, I'll play till I die, which is going to be very short. <laughs> this is very cool. I very, love very, it. Very, very cool. Love the... Craziness. I love all the colors. I love all the enemies. They look fantastic. Oh, everything looks so good. This is something that the Ness would have choked on. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Can hey! You... <gasps> he got him! No! Where did he go? He got Bernie! Did Bernie fall down? No! Did we get an instant replay on that? Oh, oh, what dragon. Did you do? What did you do? I can't see him. There he is. <gasps> and dead. Bernie Destroyer. <laughs> oh, Bernie. Why? Bad cat. 
There he we go. Knows. Ten thousand points. Made it to level three. Very nice. All levels completed so far. Oh. Yeah. If anything, it needs a bit more shields. <laughs> Or like a little bit of refill between levels Possibly. or more opportunity to get shields. Just a little bump, bump when you return the guy to to the station, yeah, maybe. Just, a just a, even a quarter bump would get that you would, help it a would lot. at least get you to start the next level, but yeah. um but I think it's overall. Oh it's my pretty god. Good. Wow, pretty good. great mm -hmm. game. Crunchy the Clown says, Everything about this is amazing. Yes. Yeah, the NES would have there would have been so much flicker. On yeah. the NES, you wouldn't believe it. Because the NES doesn't have that many sprites mm. to be able to support that much going on. Uh, well, it'd be... No, I don't know. Be on the edge. Be on the edge, if anything. They'd have to maybe to tone down the uh, the enemies circling. Be unplayable on yeah. the NES. <laughs> yeah. The power of the 7800. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There we go. Um, so the next game is called Destroyer 7800. And it's actually a port of a 1977 arcade game by Atari. Oh. So let's just take a look. 1977. Way back. Wow. When the 2600 was just a baby. Mm. And it's infancy. Yeah. So let's take a look at what the arcade version looks like and learn a bit about it. So it's one of those black and white games that has a color overlay. Oh, okay. That's what they did in the uh, late to 70s. To make it look fancy. In the 70s, because they didn't have the technology necessarily, mm -hmm. or it was very expensive to do a color game. Oh, it's like a, the Vectrix where you got your own. That's exactly right. Overlays or gels, as I like to call them, because yep, they remind me of light gels. Um, so, Destroyer, this, I'm talking about the arcade. The Destroyer is a single player arcade game developed and published by Atari in 1977. The player attempts to sink ships and destroy submarines from the perspective of a naval destroyer at the top. So, you mm -hmm. play the guy at the top. The play field displays a ship moving across the surface, displayed as a wavy line, and the submarines moving across the screen. The target depth is set using a dial control, but we're using the joystick. Okay. It it could have, it could have used go the paddle. Go up and down. Yeah, yeah. Um, because then you could go instantly, but it's very fast on the seven eight hundred. Um, <laughs> depth charges are dropped by pushing the dial controls. The speed of the ship is controlled using a speed lever control. I don't remember being able to do that in the 7800. We'll see. Control? Yeah. Uh, maybe it is. Charges that miss make a low boom. Charges that hit make a louder boom and trigger an explosion sequence. Mm -hmm. Points are awarded for successful hits. The game is timed, so the goal is to sink or destroy as... Oh, sorry about leaving it on there like an ignorant teacher. Um, <laughs> to destroy as many submarines as possible before the time expires. So, 83 that they have in the game here. So right and left changes speed, I think, says VVGW. OK, so yeah. I just didn't uh, know about that. Mm. So let's switch over. Polygox said, what version are we watching? Well, this is the arcade. That's the arcade version. That's the arcade version. So now we're going oh. to Atari And Nostalgic said, ad break, Ready. but the first two ads were for cat food. I wonder, uh, I wonder how hmm. they make that association. <laughs> There's a lot of cat <laughs> mentions. Hmm, treats, greenies. I don't know. I oh. wish you could see Sprite the way he's sitting right now. He's okay. pretty funny. Oh my god! You are zappy today. I need like a grounding, somewhere to ground yeah. myself. Uh... <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Just relaxing there. <laughs> Had Speaking enough, of cats. Had enough catnip, and now it's uh, <laughs> siesta time? It is, I think. Yeah, it's a siesta time. <laughs> oh, oh hi. come say hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> he is all doped up on goofballs. <laughs> Are you doped up on goofballs? Oh. oh, I shocked myself again. So dry. <laughs> it is dry in here. Oh, <laughs> so cute. You okay. are cute. I swear I have played this game before. Uh, I don't know what version of it. Many variations yeah, of this type of game. I'm just yeah. 
my my brain is trying to place what time period and what platform I played it on, but I uh, definitely have. Was there a Commodore sixty four version of this there's game? There's a billion of them. Yeah. yeah, it's it's common dropping things, shooting up things, going across. Gotcha. Um, so this is by S D W. Uh, this builds from March 31st. He says, hello, I'm releasing my first Atari 7800 game. This is the first game they've ever made. This is really hard. Uh, this game has been tested on real hardware using the 7800 GD, which we're using. Uh, Mr. 7800 Core and Emulator's A7800 BUP system. Uh, status complete. So this is a finished game. You are the anti-submarine warfare officer of a destroyer on patrol somewhere in the South Pacific. The sea below your ship is rife with enemy submarines. No kidding. Holy smokes. Your job is to destroy as many enemy submarines as possible uh, within your 90 second firing window. Is that it? 90 seconds. Down to 40. Uh, Using your ship's main ASW weapon, the depth charge. Your ship can launch up to four depth charges at a time. So you can go boom, 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 boom. Um, since depth charges are timed to explode at a predetermined depth, you must place the aiming line at the depth you wish to charge to explode, while gauging the time it'll take to the charge to reach the depth to explode an enemy submarine. The aiming line can be moved vertically using the controller. Depth charges are not contact weapons, so they only destroy an enemy submarine upon exploding at the predetermined depth. You may fire a depth charge by pressing the button in your controller. Your destroyer has two speeds, which may change using the alternate button on the controller. Two speeds. Yeah, so you can go fast or slow by just pressing the button. For the depth charge or for the ship? Uh, your destroyer has two speeds. Your your destroyer? Yes. Ah, oh my gosh. So that's, that's fast. Ah. So you might want to, I don't know, slow. Have slow. you tried the other button? Yeah. Does it work? Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe fast is good. Let's get you across the screen fast. Uh, if you manage to rack up 2,500 points or more, your firing window may be extended by 30 seconds. So you have to get to 2,500 and you get 30 more seconds. Oh my gosh. So there's five rows of submarines. So 10 points, 25, 50, 75, 125 on the bottom row. He says, I wrote this game in about 10 hours. Most of which was learning how to program for the console. This game is loosely based on an old Atari game from the 1970s called Destroyer. Loosely. Loosely? More like exactly. (laughs) It's pretty much bang on. It's like a really good version of it. It is. Uh, What's next? I have two more games under development for the 7800 at the moment. More info when they're ready to be released. Hope you enjoy this. Yeah, it's a really good version of it. Atari 2600 Air Sea Battle. Yeah, that's that's silly kitty. Crunchy the clown says. His eye, yellow eyes are cute. He has such yellow eyes. I think it's the 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 fluffy black fur. Just his eyeballs just. They're like. Four, three, two. Ah, uh, terrible! I did nowhere better. near 2500. Oh, it's hard. You need 2500. Oh, extended time. To get 30 time. more seconds. Wow, I need to get a lot better at that. <laughs> Yeah, good, good luck to me too. <laughs> it's hard. It's a hard game. I can see with a little bit of, you know. Oops. I think I want practice. slow. Well, there's advantages to fast too because you whip around, so you're more likely to get them the second time because you're often not where you want them to be, but you move the speed of them a little bit. So. Oh my god. I know it's hard. It's hard. BBG Double Down. I played this a bit. I am beyond terrible at it. <laughs> Hi. You know what? People oh think you're cute. I'm going to go slow. This they is, don't know the monster fast. you are. Oh, poor yes. fluffy monster. He is a monster. Atari 2600 Air Sea Battle. I like it. I really like the horizon in the yeah. background and the waves. Yep. Waves are great. And then the simplicity of like, you know, the depth charges and all the submarines. I think that's great. And it's a simple game. Oh it's like either you hit the 2500 or you suck. That's it. That's how this game works. <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh. 
pressing too many times. A big, bad, adorable monster, yes. Oh, yes. but he's so soft. Yeah, he is a soft He's allowed monster. to be a monster. Yeah. My favorite um, thing he does is he likes to hide in the shadows. And then you'll say, where's, where's Sprite? And then all of a sudden you'll just see yellow eyes out of the <laughs> darkness. And you're like, whoa, there he is. <laughs> Don't even know he's in the room. He's in full stealth mode. Yes. Yeah. Big, big points. Get the big points. Oh, S. Ramirez says, I love this game. Played the original BITD. Really? Wow. Let's see if I can get any better. So what do you think? Is it better to play slow or is it better S to play slow fast? Slow for me. Yeah. I'll try fast on the next round. Was a good run. Big. I remember Sprite hiding under your couch once. He had the quite oh, the look on his face. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't fit under there anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do remember that too. I don't know how anybody can make it to twenty-five hundred. Jeez. It's really, really tough. I'm at eight sixty, and my time's almost up. S. Ramirez, well. have you made it to 2,500? <laughs> I was going to say. Thank you for following somebody. Uh, Puerto Rican hottie 1988. There you go. Suspicious name. <laughs> Suspicious. Thank you for following. Glad you enjoy what we're doing. 1510, much better. Wow. But I mean, I think you have to play in fast mode to get... And be very accurate to get Maybe. to 2,500. Do you want to go again? Or do you want to try again I'll on fast mode? I'll do one more on fast. Do a fast mode, see if it if it helps. I just think you have more of a shot to hit, hit them a second time through. But you do go the same speed as them. So if they're, if you're moving along with them, you won't catch up to them. So maybe, maybe it doesn't make that much. Oh, it's hard. So hard. <laughs> I don't think fast is going to get me anywhere. I think slow is helping me be more accurate. Oh, oh got him. Yeah. So we're now on what, episode four of five? Just five. We watched five. We just watched five. We're watching one a night. We're trying to space them out. So we don't waste them all. But it just got renewed for season two. I know. So I'm, I'm so happy to hear excited. that. It's been so good so far. Not a surprise. No. But you never know with these things. They're like, oh, we just don't care. No. It's hugely popular. And now it's canceled. Yeah. that's Or or what will happen is, oh, it's hugely popular. And not everyone watches season season two, episode one. And then they immediately cancel it. It's like, like oh. The rest are shelved. Yeah. Never to be seen. Boo. No. So far, excellent. Really, really good. If there are any Damn fans it. of the franchise out there or people... I've met a lot of people who have watched it not knowing anything about the game, too. And what did they think? Did they really think it's weird? It. Or? Yeah, like one of, my, one of my co-workers said he's been watching it with his son. And his son knows the game. And he... Worse. You did it worse. And uh, he... Um, Esther did 3,655. What? How? S. Ramirez. Did you play it fast or slow? What was your tactic? Stay at the bottom to get the, the big points? Wow. Because really, that's that's the only way you can do it. He must have played on fast. He's that good. I don't... I don't... <laughs> How close does the Fallout show follow the games? Uh, uh, so it doesn't I mean, follow the games so much as... Ugh. In the world, well. 100%. The world is brilliant. It's exactly like the game. Um, it's set in a different area than, I mean, I haven't played one and two, than in three for New Vegas or 76. I haven't played 76. Um, you, we did play, what was that? Was that on, um, there was one where you were managing resources. We played that oh, one. Oh, Fallout Shelter. That Fallout was Shelter. just, that was just like a little I like iOS one. kind of game. Yeah. Was on a handheld? No. Uh, it was on my phone. I had it on my phone, but I think you could get it for uh, the Xbox as well yeah. or the yeah, PS4. We, I can't we remember. We played it on a console. I'm not paying attention here. 
fast, mostly bottom. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's where the big points are. It is. Okay, I'm going to play one more fast on the bottom. See, there Come was on. a bunch of points there. I have to pay attention to Hopefully the direction. Hopefully how well Fallout and The Last of Us turned out bodes well for the Bioshock TV series. <gasps> Fallout Shelter can oh, be played on PC Fallout too. Series. Uh, we probably, we probably played it on PC then. Fallout Shelter? No, we played it... I played it on my phone, but I'm positive the PS4 had a version of it. Positive. Yeah, I can't remember. It's been so long. I think I had it on the PS... <sighs> anyway. I don't think we played it on PC. But, um... Which was fun, but a completely different kind of game than the actual Fallout RPG. Yeah. You're you're just managing Action resources games. in yeah. a, in a, a shelter, shelter, which is great. Yeah, uh, I just love the tone. They got the tone perfect yep. of the game the and this slightly kind of cartoonish um, um, action. Yeah, and 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 it's very fantasy kind of it's not meant to be too realistic which i think is they again they've got the tone just right yeah hi 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 i've been yeah. trying to decide if it's a show for me or not i may give it a watch says carl g it is very much like a western yeah i if i yep. were to describe it it it's like a western in a post-apocalyptic world which i mean there's lots of shows like that um, but it really has that feel to it. I mean, it kind of s sets itself up that way. To it begin does. With. It does. Well, I did better. Fast and bottom. Get there. Get in there. Hi. No, when you're 2,500. Jeez. Oh, my God. That started off quick. BVG Double Down. I know Fallout is a game series, but I don't think I have any idea what type of games they are, nor have I seen played them. Post-apocalyptic RPGs. Yes. Lots of quests and side quests and getting lost on side quests. Brilliantly done. The world is very the rich. The story and the characters are just very well written as well. Yeah. Um, so if you like RPGs at all... And you like story-based... Oh well, I'm, it's not story-based, it's an action RPG, but... yeah. There's a lot of story. There's a lot of story and in lore. it, too. And lore, yeah. World building. Yeah, Ivory Tower says, I've only watched the first three episodes so far, but I've really liked what I've watched. I really enjoyed the episode four, which I think is called Ghouls. Is it that one? I think uh, that... I, I enjoyed that one. The writing in that one was good. Uh, damn it. Ivory Tower says, I've played three, New ah. Vegas four, and Shelter. Uh, and the show's very much got the world down, yeah. Yep. We, the same with us. Um, oh, damn it. I don't think either of us have played one or two, so... No. So they're, they, they're, they play differently. Same, yeah. same game, but they play very differently. Yeah. Come on. And you like New Vegas the best, I think, of the... 21 one five. Okay, do it again. Do it again. No, you can do it. Do one more. I want to see if you so get to 2,500. Hard. It is hard. It's a good game, though. Ah! My luck is not with me. Oh no. Yes. Yes. This game is a lot of luck. It is. Because <laughs> it's like, well, are the ships going to be where you're shooting? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Hey, tell us about now. Oh, rendered so, ghost. Ray. Thank you for rating. Help. Woo! Help. 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 Something's wrong with the ZPH stream. <laughs> Is it? 
Is somebody no. saying something? Who's Someone being just naughty? redeemed help. Oh, okay. <laughs> Woo! Welcome, Raiders. Raiders! We are playing 7,800 games. Brand, nice. Brand new 7,800 games. Thank you for following. DJ Fantasma Medium. I did worse. Okay. Okay. We're done. Unless you want to play one more. <laughs> I can. Well. No. no. I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. good. Awesome. Woo. Rate of 14. Woo. Wow. Thank you. Welcome. So the next game we're going to be playing is an <laughs> update. Yes. To Bernie and the Tower of Doom. So Bernie, we've got Bernie. We Bernie's do coming have up. Bernie. Ooh, we're hitting tree oh, time. Now is a good time. So for all the new people, the newbies who've joined us, we have no channel points. Who have no channel points, <laughs> but you can join in. Um, we are betting on cats. We're betting on cats right now. Betting on how many dings yes. of the bell that the cats will do. And you'll you'll get to see very shortly. Yep. Stay tuned for cats doing yes. silly things. So, oh, do I have enough treats? Oh my! So the you can bet on the cats. One is Sprite. He's the black cat. Yeah. Hit that predict button if you have channel points. You can bet a minimum of ten. We have an Atari cat who's gray. We have Sprite who's black and very fluffy. And they are going to compete against each other to see who can get to 10 dings and 10 treats That's first. Right. It's this guy against this guy. Yeah. Okay. I have to close the door because they like it. Don't run outside. <laughs> You're silly. Very silly cats. The predict option isn't <gasps> showing. From oh, it's Again, the ITC. What is again? going on? Again, refresh your page. <laughs> refresh uh, your page. It's nope. at the top. You don't get to eat that yet. It should be in the chat. Oh, refresh again. I don't know. Oh no. It's in the chat for me. Should be in the chat at the top of the chat. Everybody's going for Atari. Is that? Oh my goodness, cats. Look at this cat. He's jumping up. Oh my goodness. Because uh, Atari did get some uh, catnip that does skew it in his favor. Okay, we need to order some greenies. Yep, we'll do that. We're running low. We're, we're eating our... Um, Got about 30 seconds left. Trader Joe's here. Kitty Kitty Trace Treats your right bets. now. Oh. Not a sponsor. Everybody has covered all the things <gasps> now. Okay. Okay. Got about 10, 20 seconds left. 20 Tra seconds. Place your bets. Let's see. Who do you think is going to win? The fluffy black cat. Sweet little gray cat. Atari versus Sprite. We shall see. They both love their treats. Oh, it could be a pop-up. Possibly. Oh you've, no! You've blocked it. Muted or blocked. Oh no! Oh well, uh, time is up. Okay, cats. All right, all right. Are you ready? Are you good? Okay, the cats are ready. Go! Ring your bells. Oh, and sprites, sprites off to the races with one already. Hit! You gotta hit the bell. Hit Atari. The bell. Come on. Look at it. There, there you go. go. Atari's got a point. <laughs> you silly cat. Sprites come back to the bells. He's circling around them. He's confused. Oh. Atari gets another point in. It's 2-1 Atari. Oh, Sprite. Sprite has tied it up. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, soft touch. Oh. oh, Sprite got it. Atari's got it. It's tied up. 3-3. Three, three. It's any cat's game now. Oh, oh Sprite. Sprite's oh. slightly ahead, but Atari's trailing behind. Not too far. Oh, Sprite is... On it today. Quick one. 5-4. Five, it's now 5-5. Five, five. Atari's eating them pretty quick. I think the catnip has given him the munchies and he's he's gobbling them up quick. It is tied up. Sprite is still slightly ahead of Atari. Atari's having a little trouble with that last treat. He's under the couch. He has lost it. He has lost it. There's a treat over there. Whose treat is that? It's this one. There you go. There you go. Oh, and silly cat. Sprite has pulled ahead. He did wait for Atari. <laughs> Atari is eating it up. Come on, Atari. Get back to your bell. He doesn't believe that was the treat. Get back to your bell. Rings oh, the bell. Oh, rings Sprite's bell. Rings Sprite's bell. He's tied it up, but Sprite's quite ahead now. It's 8-7. Oh, oh, ring the bell, Atari. Ring the bell. You can do it. Oh, He's good back. kitty. He's back in top form, and Sprite's having a little trouble, but he gets it. It is game point, and Atari, Atari has tied it up at game point. It's not much of a chance. Oh, soft touch. Oh, and he's done it. Oh, and he won. It's over. It's over. Wow. Right
right neck and neck right to the end. Wow, good Here's job, kitty. Here's a few extra treats for the kitties. Get your treats, get your treats. <laughs> Mad doggy, Sprite, woo! Sprite by one. Let's see <laughs> who, who bet on the Sprite. Good job. Okay, hold on. I just need to... Sprite by one whisker. And the winner is... Carl G. And two other people share the big prize. Congratulations to Carl G. Good job, kitties. Good job, predictors. Yes, Got good job, Carl today. G. <laughs> thank you, everyone who... Yes, uh, thank you for dropping in. We're yes. going to go on to our next game now that the kit cats are all fed. Um, it is Bernie. And where's Bernie? Bernie is right here. Get Bernie out. Are we going to put Bernie, Bernie. on? Uh, yeah, on the 7800. Are going to hang out there? There we go. Bernie and the Tower of Doom. Now Bernie. we then whisker. made yep. it to Tower 3 last time, um, but the game crashed. Oh, yes, so I remember that. Fixed it up. Oh, good. Now, if you want to start in on, on it right away and <gasps> skip through all this. Skip let's, through let's get it. To the game. But, but people don't know this game. Mm, don't okay. Spend too well. long. Oh, wait a second. We have to do something. Yep. Okay. I have to make sure the brake is uh, disabled. Otherwise, bad things happen. There we go. All right. Bernie and the Tower of Doom. Start it up. Um, so we made it to Tower 3 last time in the okay. After Dark show. Um, but it crashed on Tower 3. Uh, we made it to 3-5 and we died in 3-5. So we're going to do it this time. It's like a puzzle action game. Mostly action. Mostly action. Not really puzzle. There's a bit of puzzling, but some of them are action levels. Um, so Muddy Funster posted, it's been a while since we had a Bernie update. There was a bug in the Bernie code that meant the game would crash in specific circumstances. That bug is fixed and now the game is very stable. Mm -hmm. I had a few folks message me about Bernie. Bernie is not abandoned. He just took a back seat while Artie was finished while I t worked on Wilf for a bit. No fishing. Um, and while I work, uh, both Bernie and Wilf are active projects. New demos will be coming soon. So background, Bernie is contacted one Friday afternoon by his old friend Melvin the Really Forgetful. As the evil robot from Bernie and the Cubic Conundrum has escaped his cubic prison to wreak havoc on the peaceful world of Uni. Scattered across the world of Uni are old towers from the time before. No one knows what they're for or who built them, but Cedric the evil robot has taken over them and is mind warping the inhabitants of the land. It's not their fault, not their fault. So you have to Get all the stars on each level by bouncing on them. Button two. No, you need to bounce on them. I have to bounce on them? Bounce on the stars. There you go. And avoid those guys. Ah! It's coming for you. It's stable until Tanya gets to play. That's right. So they are making their way down to you. And if you fall too far, you, you get delayed for a bit. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. So on this level, what you really need to... Might be a bit early. But Can't might, remember what I need to do. to do, but that's okay. Oh my ah! God. You gotta watch them. They loop around. So the good tactic in this level is to lure them to the left and then go do all the right hand stuff. Side I stuff. I can't even remember now, but You almost got it. Go to the right. Yeah. Almost there. <gasps> oh, oh I didn't know! Hit the edge. Oh, oh and, no! And you have five Bernies per tower. And then you have to do the whole tower over again. Bernie must perform the furious jumping. And go to the left because they're all... Oh, no, no, no. Get, get out of there. Be in trouble. Well, now they're on the left. Yeah, they're kind of weirdly random. Ah! 
Ah, oh, come on. Too early. Come on. I don't agree with that. And it is tile based. So you have to you move one tile at a time. So you can't move a half tile. What? You went <sighs> down too quick. He was still there. Bernie's I'm optimism so... is infectious. Yeah, he's it smiley is. all he's the time. He's so happy. He's such a happy kitty. Uh, uh, happy happy uh, kitty. Snail. Happy kitty. I'm just seeing happy kitties. So you know. <laughs> Meowy kitties. Oh, they're happy because they got their treats. I'm getting better at this one level. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Strong Bernie! You have one Bernie left to do all the four <sighs> other levels. It's okay. I haven't done it in a while. So you have to get the cheese and the acorn. If you go down one level, you can get the mouse's gold. I think it's gold. And you can get the uh, squirrel's gold. Then you, or no, it's salt that melts the ice. So you have to go up, melt the two ice. Mm -hmm. No, you're way too slow. Get back down the elevator. Nope, you're gonna die. Into the pit what you go. What am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. You go melt the ice, go back down, then go get the wrench, then do the robot. Melt the ice, get the wrench. Oh, gotcha, and the robot extends the shelf. Yes. Yep. Snail showing his muscles is so funny. Yeah. Some really good animation in this. So this is by... Uh, Money Funster. Uh, uh, Lewis Hill. Uh, Miker on the music and David Hughes on additional graphics. And uh, I didn't know David Hughes before. But somebody mentioned in the forums today or yesterday or some point that he works on ZX Spectrum games. And I looked him up and oh my God, has he done a lot of ZX oh, yeah. Spectrum games. Wow. So he is, um, so he did additional graphics in this game. Don't know which, but he's done Whoever did uh, all the graphics has uh, done an incredible job. One more. Did you die already or no? Uh, once. Uh, <laughs> strong burning. Okay. So you get this. And go down to the mouse. And I get that. And then go down to the I acorn. Acorn. And get the other melty substance. Hello. Behind Hello. that, then as soon as that blob goes to the left past the uh, goat, way too late, way too late. Quick, 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 quick. No, oh. you got to go immediately as soon as it passes the the ladder. You do not have time to mess around. This part's relaxed. This part's fine. This, this part's not. It's no time limit. So get up to the top of the ladder. Top of the ladder. I'm scared to. There. Back, 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 down. There you go. And then as soon as he's passed, well, you have a bit more time now. Then go to the robot, flip the switch, so that there's a landing pad. And then when that guy goes to the left, go pop the button and then go bounce on the star. Just, it's just the it's just the ice. You have to do it very precisely. Hooray! Star! Woo! Strong. And he's shiny, shiny muscles. Okay. <sighs> These guys don't come up. Do so you I'm can't move that. Remember this? We did this last time, but um. So you can't move that left and right block until you have the strength potion, which is at the top. You have to get at the other side. Which was used in um. His other game, his pack line port, as the power up. Oh, I remember now what I need to do. I have to get around to the other side. Yes. Now you can only go across those a number of times. I think you have to drop it. See, I remember this now. Yeah, you have to drop that left-right thing, 
down the middle so you can cross. But you have to get the potion, but don't push that to the left. Just get the potion and come back. Because you have to push it over? Because you have to... You have to... Push it, yes, you're yeah. right. So you have to go and pop uh, that bubble. I remember bubble. now. I remember now. You do have to pop that bubble, though. Yeah, but later. Um, oh, no, 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 oh, no. Now. 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 We have to do it now. You're right. And you then, just don't want to pop it on the way over. And then stay on those bubbles just so that... Okay, get ready. To the left. Oh. <gasps> Because they disappear. Oh, the timing has to be very, very perfect. You kind of have to go go to the right and then cross over to the left, and that should mm. do it. Yeah. Don't have to get that one right now. He is very strong. But he needs a power-up. He needs a little bit of a power boost to push that block. He's, he's strong enough to jump a bit and climb up ladders, but... Uh, so when you land on the bubbles, go to the right. Right? Left? No, go to the right. I have to push it down. It won't fall to the bottom, though. Oh. Now you're stuck. No, I'm not. Am I? Oh, I guess you could do that. Yeah, okay. Didn't know if it disappeared right away. And then it falls, and then you go to the bottom, and uh, you have to do be very careful what you do. You have to go to one edge, yes. follow him to one, yeah. jump on it, then boot it to the other side yeah. really quick. Careful! <gasps> Goes at tile pace. I know. You do it then. <laughs> you like to criticize it, you do it. Let's see how You're doing it you wrong! <laughs> You're doing it all wrong! It's very precise. It That's what I remember of this game. It is very precise. It is very precise. It's so strong! The snail showing his muscles is so <laughs> funny. Yeah, I love muscle. Hey, a cardboard box! Welcome! Jump, 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 jump. Hey! Yeah! Yeah? yeah? What, do you, what do you want? What are you saying? <gasps> strong Bernie! So strong. Oh, I've only got one life left. Why? Uh, I'm certainly not going to get past it. This so. level is, if I remember correctly, is not as bad. Mm. I just have to remember how to do it. You have to move it down. But I think you have to kind of get some of those things along the way. Yeah. Don't think I can get that bottom one. There's not enough time. To How turn do you around. get that star, though? It goes up and down. Oh, there you, you go. Corral get that. that cat. Stop it, please. Stop it. <laughs> soft belly cat. <laughs> does have a very soft belly. It does. Did Muddy Funster do the music or did it have a collaborator? Um, Miker did the music on this one. The music is great. Really great music. So I get the cheese. Oh, I can do it from this side. And then... You're screwed. Oh, what? No, I'm not. I drop him into the pit. Into the pit you go. Oops. Oh. oh, no, both you go in the pit. <laughs> Into the pit! Yay! Then I give the mouse cheese, and then I get the last star. Yeah, I, I remember this one was like, it's, Take, yeah. it's a little it's tiny bit hard. of a puzzle, but yeah. it's not hard. I think there's one more to go with my one life. Oh my god. Oh. Start it. I can't. Lose life. I can't. You have to lose life. Yeah, but I can't. <laughs> oh well. Oh, you can get that. Yay. Well, I'll practice it. Oh no, you. You can. You, oh, you drop through. Oh, I can. Ooh, wait a second. Okay. I'll pop that one on the left. Mm -hmm. 
Get that left. Oh no, and then I'm dead. I think you want to do that last. Yeah. I think you want to yes. pop the one on the right first. Yeah. Just let him go past. Because you need that star too. So. Soft bellied cat. No. Soft bellied cat. Watch out. Oh, you're dead. I didn't know how far he went. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. He left me no lives. Well, now you have all the lives. So no there you go. lives. <laughs> Pooch so, that, says BBG. <laughs> I, had no I find this one of the hardest ones. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's all dodging those you have to just watch the one eyed dudes. slugs. Watch the dudes. That's all you gotta do. Thanks for following. 800XL rules. Woo! Oh, God. Good job. You weren't following before? Oh, subscribed. <laughs> oh, subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. I can't see the screen, so you got to watch. Oh, my God. I told you this is one of the hardest. It's the first level. Throw you right into the fire. Yep. They're all on the right-hand side. I don't know why you don't just fall down the hill. Uh, like, you, you bounce crash. on the bubble. No matter what. Hold no. the bubble, yeah. Yeah. See, see, he's he's criticizing me as I'm doing it. <laughs> Rage reset. No, you have to go through it all. Uh, no, I can't. Oh, die. you can. Can't. Uh, I don't true. think you can rage reset. Not easily. You'd have to start from the beginning again. Just let him get you. There you go. This is not acceptable. <laughs> no, there you can die pretty quick. No, don't bounce on him. Does die. that make Bernie the different one? He has two eyes. Yes, and. He seems pretty happy with life as well. Yes. Yeah. The other guys look a little, they look, kind of look like me after I've worked, worked a day at work, you know? like A little mm, tired, a mm, little grumpy. Yeah, I've been told I have to keep looking for this snail. And, <laughs> or slug, I guess he's a slug, not a snail. There you go. Uh, that's an easier way. Yeah. Oh, those guys. You can't avoid that. Yeah, that's hard. You cannot dodge in between that. Ah! If you can't do it quickly, does that make it a mildly irritated reset? Yeah, that's a that's yes, good way to describe mildly it. Mildly irritated. I would definitely describe it as that. I would definitely describe James as mildly irritated. <laughs> at all points in time. <laughs> am I Not trapping at all myself points. again? I am! Yep. 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 It's pixel perfect. You have to be, it's tile by tile. What? I don't understand. Can you explain it to me? <laughs> I'm just going to repeat the same problem. Same, I d wasted two lives again already. I'm not do that. No! Ah, you dropped on a slug. Mm. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Come here. No. Come here, slugs. Yeah, they don't follow you, mm -mm. they just do their own thing. Mm -hmm. They always go in one direction. All right, all right, all right. All left, all, all left. Right, all right, all right. I know. I heard myself say. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, damn yeah. it. Walked right into yeah. it. <laughs> hey. Now let's do this. Oh, they're gonna land right on top of you. Oh, yeah, you can go that way. Oh, now, now they're both on the right. Let them cross. Yeah. There you go. Whoa, oh, that was close. Oh my god. There you go. You'll get it now. Yay! Hooray! All five level. All five lives. <laughs> seven out of seven stars. This is an easy one. These guys are so cute. So cute! Super cute! I love them! I love Bernie! I love... Graphics are so good! Oh, they're good. so adorable! They're the best! Muddy Funster hit it out of the park with this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so close! I love how he jumps on things, too. Boing, boing, boing! Uh oh. There you go. Yay! Muscly. He is so muscly. Good kitty. Good kitty. 
Gotta get you in a game. Hmm? Do you want to be in a game? Okay. Said yes. Meow. Meow. Is that a yes? Okay, we'll put you in a game. Kins. <gasps> no. To the left, to the left. Oh, or to the right. <laughs> no. No, soft bellied cat. He's full of trouble, that cat. You mostly trouble. trouble. Mostly trouble. A lot of fluff, but mostly trouble. Yeah. And and a little bit of whining. He's oh, quite a whiner. So much whining. We have to be so careful. Run, 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 <laughs> run, Bernie. Run or you squidge. Can do it. Squidge, Bernie. Squidge, Bernie. Squidge along. Gum drops with feet. Looks awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, kitty. Meow. Yeah. You're all full of fluffs today, aren't you? Okay, this level. So quick. I don't need to get that no. right now. Just need to go to the top. Go down. Hi. You are so funny. <laughs> He's really excited for another round of treats, I think. Are you? Do you want more treats? Not yet. There's a cool down. He's yeah. like, I disagree with the cool down. <laughs> I don't like the cool down. Trap them both. This is only world two, and you're having to be both quick and precise. Yeah. World one. We're no, only no. in tower one, oh, right? Well, it says tower two, but. Um, I think technically it's tower one. This is only tower one. <laughs> I don't know why it says tower. I guess the first tower doesn't have puzzles in it. True. Okay. okay. Panic last you time. You panicked. Because, because I thought that were, guy was coming. You were like for a me. cat running around the house there. Gotta okay. think about it first. Oh, he's, oh, he doesn't come your way. Okay, that's good. No, I gotta think about this one. Is there time to go and get that guy on the top right and bounce on that? Maybe. <sighs> yeah. I don't think you can go down. Like, you'd have to be so friggin' fast to go down that ladder. I just have to. That time. blue guy is super fast. He's That's pretty the problem. Fast. I'm gonna wait till the bottom guy passes by that spot. I'm just gonna go straight down to the bottom. You think so? Yeah. Oh! No, I have to lead. I have to lead this guy almost all the way. Yes. That's what I have to do. That guy's coming for you. That was very close. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, you're dead now. That's the last one you have to do. Yeah, it is. Okay. What you did last time worked. Um. I think you want to get that star. Right now. Honestly, I think you want to run across, get the so. star, and just but then fall down. And lead that guy as far to the right as possible. Yeah. Yeah. And then fall down on the right. Yeah. <gasps> And go to the there, and then fall. Okay. I don't know how you get that last Now dead. Guy. Now oh double, no, now you're really dead. Double dead. How did you do it before? You fell oh, I just gotta down use that to the ladder. right. Oh, I'm so dumb. You figured it out? It would just uh, have to go up the ladder. Oh god, that was very bad. Now I'm in trouble. Oh, get the start. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> that's so hard. It's, uh, I gotta get that. You gotta think about it before you start running around. Yeah, I think you do. Okay, and then you drag him there. Oh, you don't. Yeah, that's okay. Go, go Up to the, the left. Ladder. Up the ladder. Yeah, there you go. Now you can pause and figure out what you need to do, and yes. then figure out what bubble you want to pop first. So I only have one more to go. Yeah, you do. So you probably want to fall on the that side, and then there you go. Yay! Strong Bernie. Uh, Strong Bernie. Tower done. Finally, only 33 attempts. <laughs> Four for that floor. 
You do need to think ahead, but the jaunty music makes you want to bounce <laughs> forward. <laughs> it's <laughs> devious. <laughs> Woo, Bernie's excited now. Oh, you want to go back to the uh, queen, right? I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, she wants you to destroy something in the tower and go down. This one? Yeah. Good to see you. Unfortunately, this bridge is damaged. If you can stop the drone from the Twinkle Tower, then my people can repair the bridge. Oh, so we haven't stopped the drone. No. Not yet. We will go but to the next tower. that was the Twinkle tower. tower. Was it? Yes. Well, I'm not going back in there. Apparently it's not. But we didn't see a drone either. Oh, there's Melvin. Hey, Melvin. Bob, we're off to a good start. Well, that's two towers sorted. Hmm? There can't be many more, right? Well, right, Melvin? Well, it's not that simple. We need to get word to my old mate, Grumbledore. He's far to the north in Olin. If we can get knock out the towers to the north and south, we should be able to get to the docks. Okay, but what then? Well, I'll figure it out on the way to get you from Uni to Olin. Okay, but preferably this time not via the cubic prism. Er, yes, of course. Ahem. Okay, north or south? Which way should we go? We oh, can't go there anymore. North or south? Let's go south. Oh, nope. we can't. Let's go north. <laughs> do we have the right version of this game? Yes. Okay, good. I think we just can't do certain things before other certain things. Crater Tower! You just crossed the fixed bridge. Okay, we did fix the bridge. Uh, okay, fair Yes. That okay. makes sense. Oh, oh, there's a power potion. There's a strength potion. Well, there's no reason not to get that. Um... So I'm guessing you want to... Oh, if you push... Uh, There's three of them. So you can push one down. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? <laughs> we need them to uh, make a bridge. What Ooh, bridge? Wait a second. No. We don't need to make a bridge at all. We can just drop one down to the left and get that one. What is the... Oh, I see. That drops it. We need two there. You need two there to get to the there. star. Yeah. So you can get down and around using that bridge. So you probably want to fall, On the push right. one over, go down and around, fall and push the other over. Yeah. Get across and get the star. 100%. There. Then go down and around. Go right off the edge. Yeah. And then push that one. Get the star. Yeah. And then what are we doing? Push that one all the way to the left and go fall and get the other star. Or does that not go past the ladder? Push that block that goes left and right all the way to the left so it falls, which I'm sure it's not. All the way to the left? But there's nothing for it to fall on. The spikes. Just like it falls on the spikes Oh, there's there. spikes there! But I don't think it goes to the left because... Well, I only one chance left to do that. Why did you do that? Oh, it's still fine. We're fine. We're all fine. Oh, yes. Oh. No, push it over one more. You, you need to push that over one more. Oh, yes. Then I can do all three at once. Right? Push that over. Then you open them. the gates. And then you use that that to go down and... Start pushing them to the left. I'm guessing. So that guy's a problem. He is a problem. Big problem. Is he a big problem? Well, yet he isn't. He will be. Oh, no, he is a big problem. I can't do anything you now. You can't do anything now, yeah. Boo! <laughs> Hi. Oh, he's not going to be friends with me. Okay, I'm going to have to think about this a bit more. <laughs> Grumbledore. I think we have to drop them down on specific spots. Well, you still need to get that star. So you need to you need to do what you did before and Just push them up. over to get that, that star. Yes. I think you have to do that. At least. Right? Yeah. So then the question becomes...
What do you do next? Um. So you can. I think I have to use this bubble. Well, the bubble. Open up the bubble. Yes. And then you can push that over to one of the platforms and those fall. Yes. There. No, no, no. Think about it. I think you want to move it one more one more over. Because then you're going to have to push them back, right? I don't think it matters. No? It might not matter. You're right, it might not matter. Okay, so... Dude still concerns me, though. Yeah, you're gonna have to do it really fast. Really fast, yeah. That does solve the issue. So I have to catch him on the way back and just go push, 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 and go all the way over. Run! Pretty slow. Yeah, strike Yes! Party. Okay, level one done. Yeah. <laughs> Only lost one life. Okay, now this I remember. Thank you for following DJ Tequila Sunrise. Woo! Good name. Kitties. Hi, cats. Um, thank you, Crunchy the Clown. I remember this one being really manic. You open it up so that you can get through, but then you have to close it up so that... The other guy doesn't get you, so you have to time it. It's really hard. So does that open everything? Does each switch everything. open everything at once? Do those guys fall down? Yes. Oh, jeez. So... So if you open it, you need to fall to the right. Fall to the right. Fall to the right. What are you doing? What are you doing? I know. You need to fall to the right. Oh, right. F open because, it, fall, then close Because look at yeah, where yeah. you need to yeah, fall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at, if you fall to the left, you're stuck. Yeah. So you you have to figure out where you're going to fall each time you open it. Okay. 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 Yep. There you go. Nope. Too late. Oh, no. You so have to do annoying. It really, you have to know exactly what you where you're going. I'm just gonna go for it. <gasps> nope. Nope. Oh my god! Do you have to like run ahead far enough, maybe? Like really, like go down, 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 and until you have enough time to close it up. I don't know. I think that might be the tactic. Maybe there's just a path. You have to take a very specific path. Do you mind, kittens? I don't I think you, you can, though. Okay. Yeah. Run, uh, run. Just in just time. Just saved yourself there. Oh, my God. At least both of those are on the same level. I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah. I can drop down two really quick, I think. Uh, so I'm going to go middle left. Those guys are going to come down right away, so just well, be very if careful. If I time it, like, right now. Yeah. Kind of do two at a time. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah. One, two. One, two. Get it. Good job. Luckily, there's an odd number of floors mm -hmm. so that you can do two at a time. Oh, but there's one guy who's going to come down right away. That's why you have to time it. So that it doesn't. Oops. You got it. Yeah. Oh, that was the last one. That was the last one. Uh, good job. I only have one. Says good Bernie job. Bernie left, though. <gasps> Where's know. the Bernie? He needs to be over here. You need extra Bernies. Bernie, we need you. For luck. Yeah, Bernie. I don't know. Here. Yeah. There. Okay, there. Yeah. He's there for support. Okay. Mental emotional support. Oh, the toilet. It's okay. a snappy toilet. The, uh, Remember there's this. so many toilets in European 8-bit games. Really? Floating toilets. It was a thing. I have no idea why. <laughs> 
What's up with that? Okay, now I'm out of danger. The rest is puzzles. Correct. I so... dropped those two. Yes. It blocks you from that staircase. That's the only thing. I think I'm done with that staircase. Oh, right. yeah. I get that. And you need that ice. You need the salt or whatever that is. So to you... melt the ice. Ice. And then I think you have to... Do you have to drop that on the toilet? You have to drop it... On the toilet? Beneath the toilet? Beneath... Oh, so you can get there. No. Beneath the toilet. That makes sense. Oh, right. Yeah. Then that guy comes. But that's yeah, so fine. you just have to time it. Yeah. And you just have to um, drop under the toilet. Yeah. Get the ice. Get the get the. Start. And the ice is instant. It's very very fast. It is. Oh, good timing right there. Go. Yay! Yay, three Bernie. Bernie. Thank Bernie's you, Bernie. Helping. Thank you, Bernie. That explains why Donut Dodo has toilets. Lol says Crunchy the <laughs> Clown. What is with the toilets? Don't know. Any okay. any Europeans in the audience who <laughs> why, know why there are so many why toilets? There floating toilets. What's the first game with a floating toilet? That's good okay, I need to get that strength. I think if yeah, I think you need to fall on the the. Right you need the strength, side. but you definitely need to fall on the um, arrow because you're going to be screwed otherwise. Yes. Probably have to ride it to the bottom. Get the cheese. And then down. Make and a bridge to get the other cheese. Yeah, that makes sense. So I would get that. I don't think you can get back up. So I, I think can. you need to get the bottom left cheese first, then take Ooh. the ladder back to get the other cheese, and then go down and then True. get the one at the top. I think that's what you need to do. No reason not to do this. Yeah. So then I'm guessing that you ride down. And then I don't want to fall. Don't you? What you can do is ride this down one. Oh, and two it blocks more and block him. him. Yes. That's what I want to do. Perfect. I think it's home. Yep. Free. Yeah. I think Whoa, what was that? That was a little funny, but that's okay. <laughs> then you bounce, 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 and then you go up and get the other one. Mighty Fenster! Bug! <laughs> bug right there. Just a visual bug, not a game-breaking bug. Okay, that mm -hmm. was that was pretty easy, that one, luckily. Glitch! Double down saw too. Yeah. <laughs> we like glitches. Yep. Because then they can be fixed. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope, you're dead. You shouldn't yep. have done that. On my last life. Oh no! Oh, no. You have to start this again, though. <sighs> Luckily, I um, remember what you did. Remember what I did, I think. And then up, and then mm -hmm. push that one over, and then get the star, and then what? Correcting cl no, the clown is really getting into this game. It's a great game. Then what? You f pop the bubble. Fall, yeah, fall down and pop the bubble. Not that way. Nope. Too late. Rage reset. You did the wrong way. Rage reset. You have to fall down and pop the bubble. <gasps> Rage reset. I need all my lives. I just started. Okay. I'm not going to take a take one life You don't off. get unlimited redos, do you? As many as you want. Oh, good. That but helps. But you have to start the whole tower. Yeah, right. you do. That's the way that that makes sense. It's it's fair. It's fair. You get pretty bad punishment when you're on mm -hmm. fifth level of the tower. You're like, oh, I have to do that. Traders would just use save states, yeah. And down, or that works too. Then you push that over, and then go back down the ladder. And push that to wherever you want it. There was fine. Yep. And drop them. And, and then, I messed up. And then, nope, nope. Because I didn't get that star. <gasps> oh, no. This is a problem. It's hard to speed run these puzzles yeah, again. Because you forget little uh. things. You're like, oh, I'm doing all the puzzles. Oh, I forgot just getting the star. The base, the most basic part of the, the puzzle. The yeah. gimme. Yeah. Oh, man. 
Every now and then I wonder if developers purposefully make them games challenging in order to give you a hard time. Yeah. Oh, yes. 100%. Oh, yeah. That's the whole point. 100%. They want it to be hard. Especially puzzle-based mm. games like this. They want little gotchas. Yeah. So then you can push that over, get the star, then burst the bubble. Push it. Push right? it. And then go back down and push it over. And drop them. Mm -hmm. And close it. And then ride and that down, down. And then that very tricky move where you try not to get eaten by the... This time I'll remember that it takes a bit of time. At least that push is really fast. Very fast. Yeah. No, I meant you the host specifically. Yeah, possibly. Oh! That's definitely possible. They, they might have us. <laughs> they might have us in mind some of the time <laughs> because uh, we do okay. play all the games. I, yeah. Okay, it's two at a time. It worked really well. I just I have to bet watch the guy. You could time me. it properly. That you could do each level, but you just have to land yeah, at, and they have to fall. You have to time it so the guy falls and then you just flip it again. Do you know what I mean? Yep. All I have to do is watch the guy above me and give me maximum time. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep. Because I've created a gap big enough, it gives me time, especially yeah. now. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's much easier now that I have a You've got tactic. Your, a tactic, yeah. Oh, and speaking of uh, people making games challenging uh, by developers, for us, um, uh, Impossible Mission is done! <gasps> Is it? Yes. Nice. We're going to have to play, do another run through. After Dark this yes. weekend. Okay. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Because it's not a quick game. No. Yeah. I need to brush up on my puzzle. Puzzles yep. for that game. Possible mission for uh, Lynx. If uh, anybody is unaware. That's very cool. Mm hmm. So he asked us if we wanted to play it. Excellent. Yes, we I do. do. Okay. Push this down here. Then I wait for the good timing, which might be no, not quite. Yeah. Not, no. Well, mm, no. Mm, I think the next one might be a good timing. Mm. Yeah, he falls asleep after a while. Yeah. Well, Bernie does. Yeah. He goes. Uh, Yes! Strong Bernie. Watch that count. Oh, I know. He's just... It's a chewy cat. He's looking for treats. Are you a treat cat? Are you a treat cat? Oh, yeah. He is. He's a treat cat. He's like, I am rather food motivated, yes. <laughs> we when need we... to get more greenies. We need another big box of greenies. When we first got this treat motivated cat he yeah. was a chonky cat he was very chonky unfortunately we free fed him and that didn't work out very well <laughs> made him even chonkier he's like i love me the food nom 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 yeah he does yeah there's a little glitch there uh glitch in three four yeah yeah okay yeah. off to three five but yeah, we still love him, and we oh. then metered his food out, and then he, he couldn't fine. even jump. At yeah, all. he he got he got so chunky he couldn't he couldn't jump up on the kitchen counter. That's usually a bad sign. Um, yeah, very bad sign. Oh, this is gonna get I think you have to real rough. It's not as bad as you think, but um, can can you have to kind of get one each you, time? Uh, wrangle the cat, please. No, nope. no, nope. you have to just do your thing. Ah. Oh, he's I coming. Run. He's I coming run. for you. Keep ahead of them. That's the thing I need to do. Oh boy. Get it. I've got a couple left, and that's. Fall down on the left really there. good. No, oh, no, no. no? You're right. Oh, it's yeah. right there. Oh, and then you have the one on the left. You have it's to perfect. you have to pop that bubble, though. I know. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, that was much easier than I thought. Woo! Good job. <laughs> Chunky Learning. cats can't jump. No, yeah, they I know. They cannot. Oh, Tower but he complete. can now. He can now. He's much better. He had some rear leg issues. So. Oh, look at Bernie. He went ding, 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 oh, ding. Oh, nice. Oh, what happened? Something oh, fall over? Fell. It's got to be here. No, Bernie. No. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Thanks for playing. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for playing the demo of Bernie and the Tower oh, of Doom. Yay. Bernie's adventures will continue soon with more levels, zones, and quests, along with new enemies and puzzle elements. So much fun. There I'm actually so is excited. a good game trigger if you want to do it. I don't know if many people know about that. The uh, GG trigger? Yeah. Yeah. Or congratulations. That's what it is. <laughs> Press fire for a preview of one of the transit levels. Ooh. This is just a scrolling test. More on this next time. <gasps> what is this? Ooh, Bernie under the water. Oh, wow. Bernie under the water. How far oh, down can you go? Look how good. Wow. Look at that. The layers. The parallax. That is beautiful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Up to the front. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. A little bit. He's see through there. Oh, he's see through at all points. At That's the... amazing. Maybe it's supposed to be see through. That is so gorgeous. That is really nice graphics. Mm -hmm. And you're just stuck there. Okay. This is now your screen. Sprite saver. needs to make a guest appearance in the game where he grabs Bernie and drags him <laughs> off to a random <laughs> yeah, location. Oh, he knocks them. He knocks it down by his teeth. Um, down the back of the couch. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Boom! Bernie goes over. <laughs> Cute. Oh. Can't wait for more levels. Yeah. There's yeah. Bernie. Look at this Bernie. lovely Bernie. So let's check out what's coming up on the show soon. All right. Um, so this weekend we're probably going to be playing mm. Impossible Mission. Excellent. I don't, I don't have that in here. The Toko, yes, four but, levels uh, of parallax. Gorgeous. Four. Oh, I guess if you count the top and the bottom at the same time. Yeah. Um, gorgeous. So what's coming up um, on Tuesday? Uh, we're going to be playing a whole bunch of eight-bit games. Nice. Some I need to figure out the pronunciation for. All right. They're Polish. <laughs> um, you you let me know too. <laughs> Bobber Dash, Code Brown, Run Fox Run, Jail, something Polish. Uh, Maze a Maze, Mazem, Mazem, Mazem. Yeah. Nice. Uh, then on next Friday, we're going to be playing some 2600 games Ninja Combat, mm -hmm. which is Mortal Combat on the 2600. Nice. Quite a Quite a good, good version. version. Yeah, very impressive. Uh, catch up on Stellar Drive Mars, uh, Birda and the Butterflies, which is a Game & Watch converted to 2600. Oh, really? Not. It's an original game, though. Um, and uh, updated version of Paddlefield. Nice. Things may change. Yeah. An impossible mission, Saturday or Sunday. Mm. We'll see how it works out. Hi. Thank you, Dan. Um, and if you missed last episode, we played a bunch of pack line ports, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, man. You want to play some pack line ports? Yeah. Um, oh, and um, we have coming up next month, uh, exclusive update of Microvaders for the Lynx. Okay. A great shoot 'em up. Oh nice. my god. Including a live video interview with Carl Forehand from Songbird Studios. Excellent. A, a um, distributor of Lynx and many other um, Lynx, Jaguar, and another handheld system as well that oh, I don't yeah. have, so I forget we, the name we of it. We saw Songbird at uh, the Portland oh, Retro yeah, Gaming yeah. Expo, right? Carl's yeah. always at Portland Retro nice. Gaming Expo. We interviewed him there one year. And I don't think it was last year but the year before I, I do i do remember that yeah yeah so we'll catch up, up with him this year Excellent. portland rich gaming expo awesome uh next month as well secret homebrew from champ games as long as, as well as an interview with john shampoo talking about who knows what it is we don't know it's what secrets? game it is so not what was the last one the last one he just he just uh showed off was um uh tutankham tutankham which you didn't play but that wasn't a secret one that was not secret that no. was known that was no. So this is completely unknown. Which we should play as well. Tutankham? Soon uh, on After okay. Dark. Okay. Because uh, I need to practice that more. Nice. Evercade. Yes. Thank you, Double Down. Yeah, he um, it's like a distributor, official distributor of Evercade uh, 
games. Did you it's go? It's a very cool system. Did actually. you go over your fixes for what? What was it? Was it Atari Eight Bit? The Eight Bit. Um, I'll go over it next episode because that's okay. what we're playing. Because you're playing Eight Bits. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully it doesn't break by then. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, also coming up. I have confirmed the developer Spotlight with Steve Englehart, most likely in June. Uh, Atari's Maximus, Maximus, and also an exclusive world premiere of a new game from him as well. Uh, developer Spotlight on Lawrence Stavely sometime later this year uh, from Reboot, Cyrano J. Uh, I'll probably coincide that with a uh, release of his as well, because he's okay. constantly releasing games. And a developer spotlight on group with Chris Walton as well. We're going to talk with a lot of developers live on the show soon. Um, probably okay. coincide that with Xevious if we can. Yeah. Um, that would be awesome. And of course, next month is coming up soon in exactly a month, four weeks. Uh, we're going to be doing an After Dark series of three episodes. For the 40th anniversary of the Atari 7800. That's going to be a lot of fun. Playing all the classic games. All of them. Because I haven't played them all. Nope. I've played very few, actually, of yeah. them. Because some of them were released kind of late. Because it was scheduled for 1984. Mm. And it was released in a very small market in California in 1984. But you said it got... immediately shelved. Yeah, and then... until um, 1986. Which is... A long time. So there was a bunch of arcade ports from like the eight, early 80s. That never really... And then people... Picked up? People um, were like, why would we play these? <laughs> yeah. These are ancient games by now released by, on every single by platform. By 86, yeah. So they kind of... It was kind of a... Kind of trouble. So... But we'll be able to experience those and see how good they are on that platform. Plus a lot of other uh, games because there are 59 games. Oh, I'm, I shouldn't be doing this. No, you should not. Bernie's going to disappear. That is not a cat toy. Oh, that's true. Um, so lots coming up uh, for the show. And of course, we're going to PRGE, but that's much later. I don't even have it on the, the schedule. Um, so thanks for tuning in today. Let's see uh, who's broadcasting that maybe we can raid. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Hey, Crypto Coffee. Thank you for joining. Yes. Thank you for all the wonderful... I wish I had those Pac-Man ones. Where yeah. did you get those? Gen X GR. Mm. Gen X GR. Gen X GR. Gen X GR. What, what someone's, channel is that? Someone's channel. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see who's broadcasting right now. In any, the any retro sphere. Uh, Atari Beer Pong. Yay. Our friend over at Atari Beer Pong playing some Atari ST games. So we're going to set up a raid for them. Aw, look at all the pac -Mans. Oh, my goodness. 70, nice. 70. Oh, these channels. Um, so, thanks for tuning in. Crunch the Clown, Rendered Ghost, Nostalgia, Crypto Coffee, Double Dam, Dan AVC, Vitoko, Gamma Dev, Polygox. Uh, a Cardboard Box. Haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for joining us. Carl G. Atari 800 XL Rules. Thank you for the resub. Chalcedony uh, Mao. Chalcedony Mao. So many people today. I know. Cal Calica. Calica. New name. Puerto Rican hottie. New name. Yep. Mad Doggy. New name. All the people from the raid. Thank you so much for sticking around. Ivory Tower Collections. D DJ Tequila Ch Sunrise. DJ Tequila. Thank you for cheers. Crypto Coffee. Uh, kitties. Uh, who else? DJ Phantasm EDM. <laughs> Elwind. Might have to check out your channel. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Miss Nomer 21. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. Thank you for the bits. Oh, and Elwind. Yes. And I just. Uh, how do I get to their channel easily? There we go. I'll check out some of your stuff. DJ Phantasm EDM. Uh, okay, <laughs> so we're going to set up the raid. Yay! And so we're going to be back Tuesday. Tuesday at the best, uh, or at worst, actually. Well, well, but we might do some streaming on the weekend as an after dark. Let's do some practicing. I'm excited. Yeah, I love practice. Impossible Mission. Yep. 
What are you going to practice on the C64 version? I'll have to. The one that you're used to? Yeah, that's the one I like. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so we're out of here. Friday says, have a good night. Enjoy your Friday. And your weekend. Nice, Bernie. Nice, Bernie. You have a good game, Bernie. It's a very fun game. He is the best games. Bernie has the best games. games. He's going back up here in a safe spot. Until next time. Look at that. Look at what you've done. Look at what you have done. No, no. He was looking at... He always looks at him anyway. Look at those cat eyes. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Okay. So we're out of here uh, for now, and we will see you soon. Yes. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.